Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Call the meeting to order at 549. Um, and sorry, I was just looking at the other agendas and not the agenda for tonight. Um, any adjustments to the agenda? Nope, just that we have a couple motions that you'll have to do just prior to the morning in an informational meeting that allows you to do those things. That's all. Okay. Um, and we have all received the uh, the warning for the annual school district um, uh, votes and the informational meeting uh, warnings. Any discussion on that? I just had those open. I thought they looked good. Um, just a point of clarification, because I didn't realize it. Um, in the informational meeting agenda, I had that we would have a discussion about the officers. And then Dina had me take that out and said that wasn't part of the discussion. So that's why that article isn't on the agenda for the informational meeting. Okay. Um, the officer by officers, do you mean the people running for school board? The board seats, yep. I think what we did do la last year, though, under other, is we allowed folks to speak, and I think we should still. Yeah. Do. I think that worked well. Yeah, I think it's great if we can let people introduce themselves in case they're like unknowns to the community, et cetera. Particularly where we're in this like hybrid model, and people, you know, can join from home even if they don't make it out to a meeting. Mm -hmm. Can I make a motion that we approve the warrant? No. Sure. I think that we have to make a very specific motion. Um, so moving on to action items. Para, did you have the language we need to use to make those motions? Ta-da! <laughs> Tara just put it in the chat. So I would entertain a motion. I hereby move that the board holds its informational meeting on February 21st, 2022 by electronic means pursuant to S-172 of the 2022 legislative session. And then just include also in there, Lisa, the February 28th meeting as well. Okay, so February 21st and February 28th. Okay, any seconds? I'll second that. Thanks, Chris. Any discussion of the motion? All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay there's an aye. There's only four of us here at the moment. Um, correct. We don't have Peggy. Is that okay. right? I haven't seen her yet. Right. So there's four of us here. Um, so the motion passes, and we also have another. We need to look at the annual school district uh, that vote warning. Yeah. So now you'll now that you've made that motion, you can make the motion to accept the notice. I'm going to copy it in the chat. Okay. Kara is giving us some language. So skip the one I just posted. That's for after, which is about commingling. And I just put in the motion to accept the notice and agenda. All right. Does anyone have a motion? So I move to accept the White River Unified School District remote public informational hearing notice and agenda for February 21st, 2022 and February 28th, 2022. I'll second that. Any discussion? Hearing none. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Rodney says I. I think that was <laughs> um, motion passed. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Taking taking that in the affirmative. Um, all right. 
So then we need a motion on the uh, district annual meeting warning. So I just put that one in there. Thank you, Tara. So I'll move that we accept the White River Unified School District annual meeting warning. I, I'll second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Any opposed? No. That motion uh, passes as well. And then Tara, was there this one more we have to do? Yep. So the second chat that I put in there, I moved pursuant to S223 to not commingle the ballot. So that motion needs to be done so that your ballots can be counted in each individual town and then it will be reported to Pam to report. Okay. That makes sense. Um, any discussion on that? So I'll move that pursuant to uh, S223, the, the ballots for the 2022 annual meeting are not commingled due to continuing concerns regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. I'll second that. Okay, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. All right. And it looks like Peggy just joined us. That's why I didn't vote. <laughs> okay. So Peggy is abstaining from that uh, last vote because um, she joined us in the middle of it. So then the last thing we have is, like I said earlier, I just need to know we have to have wet signatures on the warnings. So I just need to know what your preference is. You can come to my office and sign it, or I can send it to Pam. And then each of you would just need to stop at the Bethel Town Clerk's office to sign. I'm happy to come to the central office and sign. I can come to the SU office as well. Yeah, SU office is good for me. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Excellent. So I will have them all printed and ready to go tomorrow morning. So just feel free to stop by whenever it works for you. And uh, what are the hours that you guys are open? We usually have someone in the office from 7.30 to 5.30, 6 o'clock. All right. Sounds great. All right. Any other business? Hearing none, I would um, take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Right. Second. So I hope, great. I hope to see you guys over in the full board meeting that happens in three minutes.